When a brewery from the United Kingdom makes its way across the pond and across all the rest of the states and ends up just a few miles south of me and then makes Saison Wild Ales, of course I'm happy. Today I will be drinking and enjoying Rosé Gold by Stillwater Brewing from Grand Mound, Washington. Get the sexies in here, eh? That's good. First off, color-wise, it's a pretty decent rosé for a uh, beer. So this is a wild ale, a, a, a saison, that is brewed with rose hips and hibiscus. Hence, rosé gold. Um, this is not my first can. I've greatly enjoyed this and two other Stillwater artisanal um, beers. Uh, the name in particular is kind of funny to me because not too many years ago, uh, I lived just a few miles north of Stillwater, Oklahoma, uh, in a small town, much smaller town. Stillwater, Oklahoma was a college town, so it had 40, I think 40,000 people, and I lived in a town that had fewer than 30,000 people. Um, but then when I heard that Stillwater was a brewery setting up shop in Grand Mound, and then further when I heard it's actually from the United Kingdom, and they set up shop in Talking Cedar Breweries space. They're kind of doing a collaboration, but it's not just a one-off collaboration. They are they have ongoing production there. That's pretty cool. I'm super happy about that. The people who pointed this out to me, or the, the dude who pointed this out to me, was Joe from the Stay at Home Brew Dads, uh, Stay at Home Dad Brew Beer Cast. That those people uh, ran into him at a um, a local uh, secondhand shop one Friday afternoon, and that was kind of fun. Uh, we recognized each other from each other's social media selfies. <laughs> um, anyways, he mentioned, and they have had some of the uh, several of the brute beers there from Stillwater, and greatly enjoyed them. And so, of course, when I was down there a few weeks ago, uh, visiting another town just south of there, and driving past the the uh, Talking Cedar, I definitely had to try some. All that super lengthy preamble aside, I don't know, I might ramble some more. Who knows? I'll probably edit some of this, make it a snappier for the YouTube. Um, anyways, this is a wild ale. That is a Saison, a seasonal Saison style, seasonal wild ale, which means it's primarily going to be using uh, Britannomyces yeast. I don't actually know specifically the yeasts that are involved in this. I understand that the head brewery for Stillwater is a bit of a mad scientist and has some pretty unique creations. Um, and I do definitely look forward to enjoying some of the other beers, but this is just characterized as a wild ale with rose hips and hibiscus, so I'm expecting... Uh, hibiscus is sweet. You'll actually find dried hibiscus is not terribly different from other dried fruits. Rose petals themselves, um, is it rose hips or rose petals? Rose hips. Okay, rose hips. Rose hips goes back to my childhood. Um, it was a uh, naturopathic herb uh, medicine that was used for certain things. I think it's relatively common in teas. Um, and I could not tell you what its flavor is, but I would imagine that you could expect it to be a bit rose-like. Just a thought. Anyways, let's see if they... All right, let's see how I can describe how it actually smells and tastes now, getting back to the uh, history and the expectations. Okay, definitely, there's a floral, a definite floral essence to this. And it's, it's more than just an essence, it's, it's floral. Not like wildflowers, it is specific flowers. Hibiscus, like I said, has a sweetness to it. Dried hibiscus has a sweetness to it. And I'm picking up that, that kind of sweetness. The, the, there's a slight tartness coming from the beer itself, which you'd expect, uh, given that it's a wild ale. And also, perhaps a bit of uh, like a cedar wood note, which is kind of nice. I don't know if that's just me interpreting something that's coming from the rose hips or, or that comes from the hops that are involved, but it, it works together quite nicely. It smells of this slightly sweet, slightly kind of, um, I don't know if you've ever smelt cedar, but it has a, 
a woody sharpness, a woody herbal sharpness. A, if you know, you know, right? I, I love the smell of cedar. It's really, really a pleasant smell. Anyways, this smells like hibiscus meets cedar meets a wild ale. And those are all good things. Taste-wise, it doesn't taste as sharp as it smells. And perhaps that's a good thing. Several of the wild ales I've had recently have been more uh, well-aged or poorly aged, as the case may be. And we're definitely to the sharper side. Uh, this is this is still a pretty young wild ale. And so you're getting this more of a earthy, uh, funky flavor rather than this super sharp vinegar from the beer itself. And then on top of that, it's uh, you, you get the hibiscus and you get this kind of essence of rose. There is none of the cedar uh, to the flavor. Maybe some celery, perhaps? Like there's a kind of a fresh green vegetable uh, hint as well. It is, it is light, it is refreshing, it, in body, it's not terribly unlike some of the hard seltzers that you get these days, except without the nasty, artificial, sweet, weird flavor that you get with those. It, it's like, as in, it's, it's a very light beer. It's not watery, it's just, it's light, and what flavor is there is, is, is light, and... Subtle might not be the right word, it, but it's not, it's not like fruit juice or, or, or even a super aged stout. It's, it's light. <laughs> it's light. I'll just leave it at that. It's light. Um, so we have this light hibiscus note. We have this light kind of, uh, the, the celery, the kind of the vegetable notes, those are definitely subtle. Uh, you have this juiciness, just fresh. Um, it's not acidic enough to be called bright, but... I'm trying to think of a juice that I would compare it to, but very low acid, low acidity, very low acidity. Um, and so I guess the funkiness probably stands out more in this beer. So if I were to describe it, this subtly sweet, herbal, fresh, lightly juicy, like, like fresh squeezed watermelon juice kind of light juiciness, but without the sweetness, balanced against this very pleasant, uh, but once again, still light funkiness that just works all very nicely together and makes this a really supremely refreshing drink specifically for warm days. But because it's not so bright and sharp, it also actually works pretty well for days like this where we got a pretty decent overcast. It's been relatively solid cloud cover most of the day. After our heat wave last week, things have uh, cooled off a little bit and this works just fine now. I would probably be super happy with this, sipping it down uh, by the dock where I'm smelling the salty, briny sea breeze and that sort of thing. It would just, I think it would go really well with that. Um, as it is here, I'm smelling the, uh, the, <laughs> the potted plants and the planting soil and I wonder if that's where the cedar note came from earlier. <laughs> I'm smelling a lot of green and growing things around me and earths and and, and stuff like that. And it works very nicely for that too. I like this. I like this quite a lot. This is me enjoying Stillwater's Rosé Gold out of Grand Mound, Washington. If you see any Stillwater beers, I highly recommend you give them a try. Particularly here in the Northwest. They're starting pretty small right now. I don't know how far the, uh, the uh, distribution will go for these. But if you see them, get them. If you like wild ales, you'll definitely enjoy them. If you're looking for something super light for those hot days, or even the not so hot days of summer, you want to sit back and knock a few back, and you don't want to be penalized with a headache afterwards. You kind of like your, you know, your your earthy, funky, floral notes. Yeah, this is right up your alley. It's definitely right up mine. Anyways, this is me enjoying beer. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. I don't know what to do with my other hand. 
I can gesture, but as soon as I'm done gesturing, I just leave it here. Like, what is this? Uh, a screensaver mode for my hand? It just kind of hangs out right here? <laughs> I don't even know if this is in frame. It might not be. Oh, yeah, it is. It's in frame. <laughs> Anyways. Huh. Bye.